So, welcome back to uh, our new discussion in our registered master electrician online review. So, we'll continue again solving problems that are similar to the problems that came out on the recent uh, Army Board exams for the past few years. And currently, we are now on problem number 14. So, let's begin solving this problem. If 18 resistances, each value of um, six, uh, 36 ohms are connected in, in parallel, then the total resistance is, okay, so we need to find the total resistance of 18 36 ohm resistor connected in parallel. So there is uh, two ways in solving that one. So we could have the longer way so i will show you first the fir the longer way so we could have we could um get the reciprocal of our resistance which is the conductance we can get the total conductance so that is equal to one over the r so we have 36 of this one so we could say that uh, we could have this one as 36, ah, 36 now, 18. 18, then 1 over the R, which is 36. So 18 is the number of resistances. So could have that one as 18 over 36 or equivalent to 1 half. Then we know that uh, the total resistance is uh, equal to the reciprocal of the conductance. So we could substitute that one. So we have 1 over 1 over 2, which is our um, conductance. So that is reciprocal. So we'll have 2 ohms. And that is now our answer. Or we could have um, a much shorter solution. So if you have uh, equal resistances connected in parallel, so you can use the formu formula RT is equal to the given resistance R over the N. So the N is the number of how many resistor or resistances are connected in parallel. So this is only applicable. It's emphasize this one, applicable only to equal resistances. So, equal resistances. Okay. So, we could now solve our problem. So, our R is 36. So, our N is the number of resistances connected in parallel which is 18 so that is 18 so 36 over 18 that is equal to 2 ohms and this is now your answer so you can have the first solution or you can have the second solution so whichever solution you will use is just okay so i just give to you the longer uh, method and the shorter method but it is preferable to use the shorter method or the shorter solution because during the exam, it is a multiple choice question. So there's no need for you to show the solution. So it is just a multiple choice. So if you can get the two ohms or the correct answer much farther, the better. Because uh, there is a time, sco time constraint. For example, for the technical subject, it is 50 items exam. And you are only given four hours to answer those 50 items. Okay? So let's proceed now to problem number 15. So a resistor of 3 ohms is connected in parallel with 1 of 2 ohms resistance. If the combination is connected in series with a 4 ohm resistor, what is the equivalent resistance of the whole combination? Okay, so for this one, we will draw the, we'll draw the diagram. Okay, so solution. So we have 3 ohm and 2 ohm resistor connected in parallel. So we have 2 
resistances connected in parallel. So we have the first one. We have the second one. So this is two. Uh, this is three ohms. This is four ohms. So they are connected in parallel. Okay, so parallel. Then these two are connected in series with another. Ah, okay, okay. So this, I made some mistakes. So this is a two ohm resistor. So let's just erase that one and rewrite. Correct that one. So this. Uh, parallel combination is connected in series with a 4 ohm resistor. So this we have a 4 ohm resistor. This is connected with a 4 ohm resistor. So we have here our 4 ohms. Okay. So we will now need, according to the problem, we now need to get the total current of the combination. Okay. So this is a series parallel combination wherein the resulting um, circuit will just be a uh, or the if the circuit is simplified the equivalent circuit or the equiva, equivalent simplified circuit is a series circuit. So I guess during this vid making this video so if you can hear the rain so it is raining here so it's just never mind the rain and Continue solving. Okay, so we will we'll first simplify this one, the series connection. So let's call this one as RP. Okay, so solving RP, that is just basic uh, series uh, parallel connection. So it is equal to, uh, or let's just first have this much simpler solution for the, this, uh, parallel circuit okay so we first get the conductance so this is equal to the reciprocal of these two one half plus one third so you can use uh, adding two fractions or you just use your calculator if you have so one over three plus one over two this is equal to, uh, let's just write that one as a fraction. So this is equal to 5 over 6. Okay. So our RP is the reciprocal of our conductance, so GP. So you can have this one as 1 over 5 over 6 or equal to 6 over 5 because reciprocal okay so if you are wondering how to get this one using the calculator so you just can calculate this one also 1 over 5 over 6 equal okay so that is 6 over 5 ohms now the resulting simplified circuit will now become so let's just write this one here okay So it will now become a simple series circuit. So this is our RT, and this is our 4 ohms, and this is our 5 over 6. Okay, okay. Uh, is, this is our RP. So RP, so this is 6 over 5 ohms. So if we are now going to solve for RT, so that is just a uh, simple series circuit so that is equal to 4 ohms plus our rp so we have 4 plus 6 over 5 okay and that will be equivalent to 4 plus 6 over 5 that is equal to 5.2 so this is 5.2 ohms and this is now our answer okay 
So let's go to problem number 16. Okay. 16. 3 resistor 10, 15 and 20 are each connected in parallel. So what is the equivalent resistance? Okay? So this is another uh, sample of a parallel circuit in which we are going to get the total resistance. So we have three resistors connected in parallel. Okay, so this, they are connected in parallel. So this is, for example, this is our R1, uh, R2, and R3. So this is equal to 20 ohms. Our R2 is equal to 15 ohms and our R3 is equal to 10 ohms. So we are going to get for the total resistance. Okay? So because this is a pure C, uh, parallel circuit, so we just first solve for the total conductance. So this will become 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 so we have 1 over 10 for R1 plus okay, plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 20 and Let's use our calculator. So we have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 20. So this is equal to uh, okay, 13 over 60. So this is equal to 13 over 60 okay so let's check our calculator first given so this is 13 over 60 Siemens so if we are going to get for our total resistance so that is only the, re the reciprocal of our total conductance so we will have uh, 1 over 13 over 60 so this is equivalent to 60 over 13 uh, ohms or equivalent to, let's have this one in decimal. Okay, calculator. So 60 over 13. So that is 4.62. So we will have 4. 0.62 ohms and this is now our answer okay so i will drink some water first okay so let's proceed to problem number 17 okay so three resistors 10 12 and 15 are connected in uh, parallel. Evaluate the value of the current to the parallel system that will make the current in the 10 ohm resistor equal to 2 amperes. Okay, so let's try to solve this one. Solution. Okay, so we'll be using our, uh, we'll first draw the equivalent diagram. Okay, so we have this one here. Have another one. And lastly, we have this one. Okay, so we have here 15 
ohms so let's have this uh, let's have this one as our r3 this is r2 is equal to 12 ohms and r1 is equal to 10 ohms so we will going to get the current the total current let's just change our pen first so this is our current here 10 uh, okay okay so this is the required so we have it that is our current and according to the problem the current and the 10 ohm resistor is equal to 2 amperes so this is equivalent to 2 amperes okay so you could solve this one by longer method but since we have uh, tackled the cdt the current division division theorem so we could use this one we could utilize this one especially the, the given is only on the on one of the branches so it can be solved using uh, the using the longer method in which you are going to get the um the voltage on one of the branches then that is a parallel that is still equal so let's just first try to solve this one using the current division theorem and after that we'll try to solve this also using the uh the longer method okay so how to get the current using the current division theorem so first let's simplify this part of the prob this part of the circuit so this one we call this one as our r p okay so in getting r p so we need to find first the conductance g p this is equal to one over r two plus one over r three so this is equal to one over twelve plus one over 15 okay so let's use our calculator 1 over 12 okay, okay, okay. 1 over 12 plus 1 over 15 so we have uh, 3 over 20 so this is 3 over 20 Siemens and we will find the rp so this is just the, the reciprocal so we have 1 over gp so this is equal to 1 over 3 over 20 so this is equal to 20 over 3 ohms or we could have this one in decimal Okay, so where is the calculator? So 20 over 3. So this is equal to 6.66. Uh, or you can have that one in. So 6.6. ohms. Okay. So we could have we could use either the two, but so but to so have a consistent C, so we could use, I uh, will use the fraction. So our circuit now will become like this one. So this is equal to R1, which is equal to 10 ohms. This is R2, which is equal to 20 over 3 ohms. And we have here our 2 amperes. And we have here our IT. Now in, order, in order post to solve IT, so we could use cdt so for example we will call our two amperes as i1 so if we are going to solve for i1 so i1 is equal to it 
times the opposite resistance which is this one which is RP I believe I wrote the one as R2 okay then we have R1 plus R P. So if we are to going to same for RT, so by using algebra, so this one will be transposed here. So the two of them will be multiplied over our RP. So we could now have our um, I1 as uh, IT as IT is equal to I1 times R1 plus RP. So, quantity, they are multiplied over RP. So, if we are going to substitute the given, so this will be 2 amperes times R1 is 10 ohms. Quantity 10 ohms plus our RP is 20 over 3. 20 over 3 ohms over 20 over 3 ohms. So this is now equal to, so let's use our calculator. We could input this one immediately in our calculator. 20, uh, okay, 2. 2, 10 plus 20 down key over 3. We have 20 over 3 okay so that would be equivalent to 5 amperes and that is now our answer or we could use the longer method whichever method you like but we'll explore that method so we'll just move down our paper here so maybe in this part okay so let's uh, rewrite first our circuit okay so we have our r1 so our r2 and our r3 okay so we have r3 this is equal to uh, 15 ohms R2 is equal to 10 ohms, uh, 12, sorry, 12 ohms, and R1 is equal to 10 ohms. We have our given here. This will be our I1, as we designate earlier, 2 amperes. And we have here the required, which is the total current or IT. Okay, so if we are going to get a voltage drop on R1, why does my pen not, uh, pen not working? So this is E1, okay? So E1 by Ohm's law, so if you forgot, we could write again the Ohm's law triangle here. Okay, so E1, I1, R1. So if we are going to get for E1, so E1 over E1 here, and you have I1 times R1. So this is I1 times R1. So sub substituting, we have 2 amperes times 10 ohms. So your E1 is equal to 20 volts, or that is 10 times 2, or it will be our... E1. And we know that it, one of the characteristics of a series circuit that if we have a source here, for example, a battery, so we have called this one as E, so the voltage across each branch, branches of a, uh, of, a, of a parallel circuit is equal to the source voltage or equal to the total voltage. So you can see our E also is equal to E1, which is equal to, as we saw earlier, 20 
20 volts. So, we can also, now we can get our total current by using Ohm's law. So, if you cover I here, we just have it one as T. So, I T is equal to E over R T. So, we have our E and we have our, we have our E and we are now required. And we are now trying to find RT in order to solve for the total current. Okay, so how to solve for RT? So that is just um, another uh, problem in solving the total current. So by using the principle of conductance and resistance. So we will first solve for GP. This is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay? So, we will have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 15. So, this is now equal to our GT is now equal to, so let's use our calculator. So 1 over 10 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 15. Okay? So it's equal to 1 over 4 and our RT or the total current is the reciprocal of our total conductance so 1 over GT so this is equivalent to 1 over 1 over 4 so 1 over 1 fourth so you can calculate that one or that is um, equal to 4 okay so if you want to make sure so that is equal to 4 Ohms. So, if you have this kind of um, fraction, so 1 over 1 fourth. So, this denominator of the actual fraction, this one, will just be put above. So, that is what, what you mean by reciprocal. So, it will become 4 over 1 or just 4 ohms. So, we could now substitute that one in here. So, we have 20 volts for our E over the total uh, resistance which is 4 ohms so our total current is 20 divided by 4 without using the calculator that is 5 amperes and that is now our answer okay so we have the same answer for both for the two solutions so you could use either of each of the solution it's up to you which is much easier to you i'm just giving you the options so like this say in in solving problems uh, there are many ways to kill a chicken so it's up to you how to kill the chicken as long as you uh, you get to the right answer okay so that will be all for this session of solve problems solving problems related to basic electricity and ohm's law so we will continue solving problems on on the on, on the later videos and as always thank you for watching and i hope you understand the explanation and you get something out of this video and in order to keep the uh, in order to pass this the exam keep on studying